Good evening, everyone. It's Skepper TV Land. It's me, Frank Skepper, here with another episode of a drunken rant. Because, like hell, do I give a shit what anybody has to say about when I am drunk? I have gone through an entire liter bottle of wine, no food since this afternoon. Which, tell me by the time right now, it is 9.47, I would guess. I had food maybe about 3 o'clock. So about six hours, no food. Which probably means I'm a lightweight, as most of you know. But anyways, back to what the matter at hand is. So today, I am here to talk to y'all about how another drunken rant. Like, as you may have remembered my last time, my drunken rant was about a fat lady in a thong. Well, today, this one goes out to all y'all who work in customer service. Now, <clears throat> let me explain. As most of you know, I am a massage therapist, and most of you know that a massage therapist usually tends to their clients. You know, that's what we do. We take care of our clientele, we make them better, and we send them on their way. Now, my problem is, is that, not necessarily a problem, I take that back, it's not a problem. I enjoy doing my job, don't forget that, I love what I do. What I'm saying is, is that the people who come in and a use freebies okay those of you <coughs> excuse me who work in customer service understand that sometimes you have to give complimentary things and what pisses me off is when people come in for complimentary services because you know we give chair massage and it's for free sometimes you know just to get people to see me how I am in my new location I'm not going to say disclose where because that, you know, that would violate a couple things. But anyways, like I said, I have a new, I'm at a new location. And so, you know, I'm dealing with a bunch of new people and stuff from the last time when the fat lady was in the thong. Okay. That was a different place. I'm at a new place. But anyways, like I was saying, like when people come in and they get a free complimentary service, you know, provided by whatever the hell you work at. But what pisses me off is when they decide to go ahead and want extra shit. You know, like, okay, I'm already providing you with a complimentary service and you're going to go ahead and be all like, well, can we use oil? Can we do like all this extra shit? And let me be honest with you, it pisses me off when it's like, you know what? Here I am giving you something for free, you know, something that you should probably pay for normally, but I'm offering you something for free. And then when you decide to go ahead and just be like, no, no, I want extra. I want more added to this. You know, can you give me a full body massage in 15 minutes? It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I can't give you a full body massage in 15 minutes. And again, like I said, the rest of y'all on customer service, that's like saying, okay, you know, we're giving you a complimentary, like restaurant workers. Fantastic example, because all y'all get fucked over more than anybody. <coughs> Hold on. I want to adjust the mic because I don't feel like, or the camera, whatever the fuck it is. I'm shit faced, okay? So, like I said, you know, that's another drunken rant. But as I said, you know, like it pisses me off as someone who's in the service industry, and for all those others who are in the service industry, pisses me off, man. It's like, you know, we're giving you something for free. Take it. You know, take what you get. You know, whatever we're offering to you, just take it. You know, don't come along and be like, oh, well, I want a little extra added to that. No, that's that's being greedy. That's being fucking greedy. And let me tell you what the moral of the story is. I had a client today who came in and was all like, okay, whatever. You know, first of all, she fucking lied to us by telling us that she had already not had a freebie massage. Okay, because you're supposed to get one. One per person, you know. Everyone understands that. One per person. One freebie. Per person. Even Spider-Man fucking does that. You know, everybody gets one. But this lady decided she was going to go ahead and be like, no, 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 I want more. I already had a freaking massage by you, full service, mind you, and a comp beforehand. Complimentary 15 minutes. So she goes ahead and says, I want a, you know, like, I want, like, you know, oh, can you go ahead and do a freebie massage with oil on my back and everything? And I'm thinking, like, she wants to get, like, the full shebang. You know, like, she wants every, ow, fuck, 
fuck my goddamn hand it hit the head it hit my desk i'm sorry but anyways like i was saying she comes in and she's all like i want to free you know i want free work and everything like that and i'm just like okay fantastic you know have you had a massage with the forks damn well I'm way better at recognizing faces than I am like with names, okay? Because like I, I'm like a teacher, okay, who every year has to remember their kids in their class, their names and shit like that. And granted, yes, they've got a whole year. Me, I have one session to remember these people. And Lord help you if you don't fucking remember their names. And they're all like, oh, I'm offended. You don't remember me? It's like, listen. Lady, sir, whatever the hell, ma'am, sir, whatever the hell your name is, whatever the hell you are, gender fluid, ah. Anyways, no, no offense, but like I said, it's the people that fucking come in, and this, again, like I said, this is to all you customer service people, who come in and you're offering them free shit. You know, you're offering them, hey, let me give you something for free, you know, so that you can, you know, be okay, you know, coerce you into coming back. No. They're not satisfied. They're like, I want more. And that's where it's your place to be like, no, we're not giving you more. We're offering you quite a big deal. I mean, honestly, my massages nowadays go for 85 bucks a piece. For, and that's for just a whole hour. Now, if I'm offering you a 15 minute, let's take a look. I'm curious. 15, you know, 80, you know, 60 minutes, 85 divided by a quarter. How much is that worth? I'm going to check right now. Give me a second. I got to pull up my calculator. Why? Because I'm horrible at math. And to be completely honest, I really don't freaking care. Who knows it? I suck at math. Okay. I, I'm great at everything else. Could mean science, history, English, any of that bullshit. I've got it. Math. Never been my strong suit. So let's see. 85 divided by 4 equals 21 bucks. Okay. So that means that this bitch got a 21.25 complete free service. And she's like, oh, no, I want more. Give me more. And I'm just like, no, bitch. This ain't no Britney Spears fucking video. You don't get no, give me more. Give me more. No, it's like, no. You get what you're offered. For free, and also not to mention that you fucking lied to us. Ow, son of a bitch! I did it again. But again, like I said, you, I'm, I'm giving you something for free. Okay, not to mention that you already took up your first chance to do it. It's like I want more, and it just drives me fucking insane. It's like, look, I'm giving you a freebie. This is a sample. Try me out. See how you like me. If you don't like me, then okay, then you never have to see me again. You know, never, you know, flat out. That simple. You don't like the way I do things? Okay, you don't have to see me again. You know, we've got other people. But it's when they come to see you. You know, when, say, like, you're a waiter or a waitress. And, you know, one of your favorite customers comes in because they know that they tip you well. Well, when they start, like, you know, okay, probably a bad example. Bad example. But say, like, when they fuck you over on, like, tips, say, like, they don't give you a tip the last time they came in, but the second time they came in, they're just like, oh, yeah, you were great. You know, I loved you. But yet they didn't leave you anything. And it's like, I don't understand. And then they go, they're like, oh, well, I want, you know, extra service. I want to be taken care of. I want a concierge service. You know, make me feel like I'm celebrity. But they won't leave you anything extra or they won't do anything extra for it. It's like, I don't understand. You know, there's only so much you can give away for free. And that's the truth. There is literally in a business, and the Joker said it best, if you're good at something, don't do it free. Well, I believe that there's a way that you can do things for free, kind of to sample. You know, that's why, like, fucking all these Costco, Sands Club, all that other bullshit gives free samples of their of their food. You know, the stuff that they know that sells well, you know, so people can try it. That's how massage works, too. You give away a freebie, 15 minute, 10 minute, 5 minute, whatever the hell you want to give. But when the client starts overstepping and being like, oh, I want a little more attention, you know, more shit added to my session, my little freebie session, that's when you got to start being like, well, I'm sorry, but if I'm going to do extra, I got to charge you for it. You know, there's only so much I can do with a freebie. 
And then they're like, oh, well, you know, you could go ahead and just do it without anyone noticing. It's like, fuck you, man. I'm sorry. But, you know, it's not just them that's getting screwed over. It's me personally. It's like, you know, I'm offering extra shit to you when you're only supposed to get this much, you know, and you want this much, but they want this much. And it's like, no, you cannot do that. And it's just like, this is why I feel like as much as I hate admitting that the customer is not always right, you know, and that's the biggest thing. And I feel like they need to realize it because there's a lot of people out there that go ahead and claim that they're the right the ones that are in the right. Honestly, a lot of the time, I think the customer is a little wrong. But, but on the rare circumstances where it's like, you know, the company, us, you know, we fucked up, then fantastic. We'll take care of you. We'll fix everything up. You know, it's our fault. We'll handle it. But in the event that, you know, not only did you lie, you know, and saying you've never come in to see us before, when I damn well recognize your face, I say hi to you almost every fucking day that you come in. Come on, you're not fooling anybody. If you want a freebie massage and you really do, you know, okay, great. You know, if you really need a recovery session, you know, something's bugging you really badly, okay, I understand. But if you're just popping over just to be like, you know, okay, you know, I want a freebie massage. Okay, well, we're offering them today. Let's do it. But then afterwards, you're, you know, while during the session, you're like, I want extra shit. That's where I draw the line. That's where I'm like, no, I'm sorry. You know, you came in for a freebie. You wanted this. Don't come in. Once you're in the room with me and away from managers and closed doors and everything like that, you're like, oh, can you go ahead and give me a little bit more time? No. Your time is 15 minutes. We're not going to 20. We're not going to anything else. And that's what pisses me off. And that's where my drunken rant comes into today because there's one bitch who decided to just walk all into the spa and be all like, ow! I have a problem with hitting my hand. When I get passionate about shit, I hit my hand on stuff. But like I said, there's one lady who decided, to, and who shall remain nameless because that's how we work, HIPAA and shit. You just, you don't come in and you don't like ask for more shit. Once you're getting a freebie, that's what you get. You know, if you want more, that's when we say, hey, you know, that's going to cost a little bit. Don't just come up and be like, no, I want more. I'm a loyal client. I want more shit. No, you're offering a freebie and that's what y'all get. So as I said before, that's what happens. So I want more. No, you don't get more. Fuck you, bitch. You ain't getting more shit from me. Uh-uh. No, I already offered you a freebie. You ain't getting more. Uh-uh. No. Well, I am always right. I don't care. The customer is not always right. Fuck How you, man. You? you know what? I'm going to take what Key Lime told me, and then I'm going to say, you know what? Give them the pickle. Give them the pickle, man. That's how they work at Key Lime. And the manager will tell you exactly what they said to me. Okay, for those of you who don't know, that was my husband. He popped in. He decided to add a little extra to this shit. But like I said, it annoys me more than anything when it's like, look, I'm offering you something for free. And you decide to go ahead and be like, I want more. I want more with my free shit. Like, come on. Don't come up to us and be like, we're going to give you something for free and you want more. And you want that more for free. No, I'm sorry. Additives want have to cost you something. That's how business works. You know, being somebody who has to go ahead and earn my clients, you know, I have to show them, sample them, give them shit so they can come to me. It's important when I'm like, look, listen, I'm offering you something for free and you just want to go ahead and be like, no, I'm not satisfied with this. I want more. Look, if I can't get fucking more, neither can you. That's how I see it. You know, if I got to fucking sit here and do my job for you and for a very 15 minutes, you shouldn't be asking me for anything else. And granted, yes, I'm not crying this time like all the rest of them, but I am pissed off at people who do that shit. And if you're one of them, I have to be honest with you. Fuck you. Okay, because you're getting freebie shit, and you want to, you're just like, I'm not satisfied. I want more. I want more shit to myself. No, you don't get it. I'm sorry. Business is business. I did not pass that class, but I know how it works. And I know that if you want to earn and run a business, <laughs> shit, you have to go ahead and, like, you have to put money into it. You know, if you want fucking hot stone massage, that's an extra charge. You want a room with therapy? That's an extra charge. You know, don't come in and say like, oh, well, I want a free 15 minutes, but I want 20. 
you know, you can go ahead and give me an extra five minutes. No, I cannot. I have other people on my schedule waiting and I'm not going to just going to offer 15, a free 15 minutes. You know, it's like, do any of you other people in the service industry have these problems? I mean, seriously, I know there's more of you out there. I hear you people bitch about this. Let your voice be heard, bitch. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. I get it's customer service, and I know that we're all about taking care of the customer. And believe me, nobody takes more care of my clients than I do. I mean, honestly, I cater to them. I give them what they want. But when it comes down to a freebie, it's like, listen, bitch, you wanted the freebie. You have the chance to get an upgrade, and you can get a full service, and then we can add on whatever the fuck you want. You know? It's like, but your 15 minutes you get with me is free. If you want more, you can add more. And that's how business works. And that's why I fucking hate people sometimes because they come in and they're like, oh no, I only want what's for free. I only want what's for free. I only want what's for free. And it's like, you know what? No, listen, you can get what's for free and that's totally cool. Believe me, it's fine. You want a freebie service and you want to go ahead and just ream your freebie and be like, that's all I don't want anymore. Totally cool. But once you're in that freebie session and that's all you're getting, don't do fucking not ask for more because at that point that's when we start charging you and then you're going to come out of the session and be like oh why do i have this 15 dollar charge on my account why do i have this all on air well because you asked for more time like simple as that you know i mean i don't understand like if you went to business class you understand supply and demand you understand if you want more extra from what the freebie is you're gonna have to pay and i know i've said this like four or five times already but the thing is, is it, it pisses me off it's like people it's coming from somebody who has to earn their business you know earn their clientele earn everything develop trust with your clients and really build that whole trust deal you know that i'm gonna take care of you i'm not gonna fuck you over if i don't have to you know and the thing is that freaking like it just it annoys me that's all it annoys me and it's just one of those things that i think all of you people that have to work in customer service and deal with people have to deal with and really it's just it's unacceptable it is unacceptable and i feel like people who are who come to us need to understand you get only so much for free you know we can only You know, there's like no point, but as I said, in conclusion though, you know, like, and I know I'm going off on a drunken rant again and whatever those y'all might see my pretty face looking all tan and shit. And if you see tan lines, fuck you, because you know what? You have to wear goggles in the state of Illinois. You have to wear eye protection. So I can't help my fucking lines. So it happens. But as I said, that's not the point of this argument. The argument is that as I believe, the customer is not always right. Sometimes, just because they're we're offering them shit and they want to be like, well, I want a little more, they have to understand they have to pay. You know, certain things come at a cost. You can't just give them everything. And like I said, that's how it works. So that's my rant. I'm shit-faced. I'm going to continue to go ahead and get drunk. It's a Friday. And to all the rest of you out there in Skepo TV land, I really hope you have a wonderful weekend because you know what? Everybody deserves a weekend to have fun. And damn it, I sure as hell am going to have one next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. That's my, me and my husband's anniversary. So to those of you, I hope you have a good weekend. Hope you enjoy yourself. Go out and fucking barbecue. It's summer, damn it. So go out and enjoy the weather. Go run. Go do something. Go spend some time outside. Fuck your video games and everything else. Spend some time outside. The vitamin D is good for you. So have a good one. See y'all next time. Have a good weekend.